Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, how you been? It is your boy, Free Agent Dan, the British nutcase for tanks. Um, I'm back with a brand new replay of what I think is the underrated tier 10 in the World of Tanks console. I'm talking about the fv 215 feet. Um, so, right here in this game, we're on Windstorm, Encounter, and let's see what we can do. So, right here, I want to take the initial position at, um, you know, D, D3, D4, because I know there's going to be tanks coming from that way so you know I want to set up and be ready also got the Death Star backing me up so I should be I should be okay two tanks spotted right away and it's their lights okay this is good we can deal with this I suddenly notice a T125 can't get the gun depression, so I bop. Right Lovely jump lane, T49 hits me on the tracks, which is fine. I'm just, I'm just going for the E5 because he's there. He's more of a threat. I. Panic a shot there. He puts a good one into me. The side screen capabilities on this tank is really not good. T49 hits me again, so I focus on him. There we go, you can go to my barrel reticle zoom. And so I'm trying to bait the scourge right now. I'm trying to bait him to, you know, come at me. Like, you know, come at me, dude. Come on. Snap a shot in there. I realise he's trying to commit. Bounces. Put another one into him. And he's going to try and run away. The 705. Luckily, only destroys my tracks. Artillery hits me. I kill the FB215. My bad. And our Death Star kills the Scourge. So, good stuff. Excuse me. I'll look up there for 705, see if he was gonna peek or not. So we push this flank, I spot Artie. Good. I'm glad he's there, so then we can just knock him out to not worry about him later. Death Star finishes him. And I notice that paladin, and I think, well, hang on, is he there, or on the other side of the hill? And sure enough, hey pal, went a bit too far forward, right in the lower plate. So there's a lot of us swarming this guy right now, so... I thought my light tank was here killing, that's why I went sign on, and I was like, oh. So then I pump another shot into him, and kill him. Which causes my fuel tank to get hit, which is not... 
Not an ideal scenario in the slightest, but a ho. I'll pull you back to uh, third person. There we go. I, I I don't know, man. I think this tank is underrated just because of its run. I I don't know. You you guys decide in the comments. Like, is it an underrated tank? Is it not competitive enough? I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the FB. So right here is quite a good shot, if I do say, on the 257. Pulling back, I had like a little smidge to pen. And I penned it. And right here I was being a bit of a goof. Because, yeah, my, my controller was just booth not cooperating with me. Pump a shot into the Super Conqueror. I thought he was looking at me, poke out, bang, right in the turret. <clears throat> then, oh shit, Sheridan. Tried to save my key 49 couldn't do it. Sheldon puts one into me, I know I'm gonna reload before him, bang, dead, and now... Oh dear, Mr. Summon 05, you seem to be without friends. Um, I don't know if it's greed or whatever, but... That shit barn would... He does not need to do that. And I think the Death Star tried to block me as well, but... Oh well, we win the game. That's simple enough. Five kills. Seventeen spotted uh, damage ribbons. Eight criticals, two spots. The reason why I say this tank at least for me, is underrated. It's because of that gun. It's a 120 with perfect gun handling for me. The aim time is decent. The reload is good. Just not the fucking hull. It's... Ugh. It's disgusting. But, anyhow, you can't have it all. Unless you're an IS seven. <coughs> oh, who said that? <laughs> anyway, so let's see what damage I did. Five thousand nine hundred fifty-one damage. Plus that 961 um, assisted, and so that's near enough six to seven thousand damage in total. And we get Hand of God, Duelist, Master Gunner, High Caliber, Fighter, Fire for Effect, Bruiser, Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, and Sniper for 1,707 base experience and the damage to go on top of it. Like, I just think this tank is underrated at tier 10, at least in my opinion. But, like I said, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. And, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this replay of the FD215B on Windstorm. Um, again, 
love to hear your opinions on this tank in the comments. So, anyway folks, take it easy, and take care on that battlefield. Peace.